Welcome back to the Swim Doctor's Office. In this video, I'm going to show you the different steps of how to teach a child how to swim. Now, this is all up to you. You can choose to do either backstroke first or freestyle, depending on what you want to do or what they want to do. Some kids like doing backstroke first, some kids like doing freestyle first. Um, just choose one and then go with it. So it's gonna be a progression of steps. First, we're gonna start out with floating. This is gonna be a, a lot like the steps of how to learn how to swim. So first, we're gonna start off with a front float. Since they are young, they're not gonna wanna put their face in the water. You can try it all you want, but a lot of the time, if they don't wanna put their face in the water, it's not gonna go in the water and you don't wanna force their face underwater because that's not good. So it's okay if they have their head up, you can talk to them, you can ask them questions, you can ask what their favorite color is, what their favorite food is, you know, what you want, what they wanna have for lunch or dinner or whatever. Um, but anything to, you know, kinda distract them a little bit and make sure that they're having fun. So um, talk to them the whole time or most of the time. So you're gonna hold them under the tummy and they're gonna be facing towards you. Have them put out the arms. The reason why you want them to have their arms, and we call this airplane mode. The reason why is so that they can get used to not holding on to something when they're in the water because they're scared. So you want to relax. You want them to feel more relaxed in the water. And how we do that is by putting their arms out. So while you're taking them around, you're gonna do it for maybe about 10 to 15 seconds. You're just gonna take them around a little circle and then go back to home base, which we've talked about before. All right, now you're at home base, have them play a little bit. Now the second part is you're gonna do kicking. So how you do kicking is you have them sit down somewhere, whether it's the steps. I prefer doing it on the steps just so that they can see all the splashing because they think it's hilarious to splash. So have them sit on the steps, have them put their legs out straight, and then have them do kicks. And make sure that they're splashing. I know in my previous videos I say don't splash, but yeah, anyways. Then you can even make it into a game. You could do big, huge kicks and splash as much as they want, or and then you could have them do little tiny kicks and you can have them go slow, you can have them go fast, just make it fun for them. And then what you want to do is you wanna take them out and do that circle again, 10 to 15 seconds, and have them do the kicks. Some kids, they won't exactly know where their feet are at in the water, so just guide them, tell them to kick a little bit higher, kick a little bit lower, do smaller kicks, do bigger kicks, you know, guide them through the whole thing. Now at this point, you're gonna have them play, you're gonna have them do whatever they want. If they just wanna sit down and relax, that's totally fine too. Then we're gonna move on to the arms. So you're gonna hold them again. You're gonna have them put both their arms on your shoulder and you're gonna grab their wrists. But you're gonna do one wrist at a time because you gotta hold them. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab one wrist. So normally, you can start out with, because uh, you want them to know the specific areas that their arm is going. So have them go down in the water, up in the sky, and then back on your shoulder. And then you're gonna switch arms, so you're gonna put one arm under them, and you're gonna grab their other wrist. Then you're gonna go down in the water, up in the sky, and shoulder. And you're gonna say this every time you're doing it, just so that they know what's going on with their body. And then when they get a little bit more comfortable with it, I, I like to get a little bit more fun with it. And I go, I do something like butterflies, ice cream, potatoes. I don't know why, but they think it's hilarious. Probably because it is. And then you're gonna do the same thing on their back. You're gonna flip them over and like I said in my previous video, most of them aren't going to like that. So they're gonna squirm, they're gonna try to flip over, they're gonna try to sit up. Just 
try to keep them as stable as possible. Lift them up if you have to, you know, a little bit so that they fall back onto your chest. If they're fine with putting, you know, their ears in the water, then have them do that. If they're not fine with it, it's, it's okay for now. Have them rest their um, head, the back of their head on your chest and you're gonna grab their, their lower back and you're just gonna hold them, take them around in a back flow. Then the next step, what you're gonna do is you're gonna have them do the kicking. And you can do the same thing you did with the front float, have them do the same thing, sit on the, the, the step and have them do big kicks, have them do small kicks, have them do fast kicks, have them do slow kicks, have them do any kind of kick you feel like doing. And then have them go on their back and try to do the same thing. Now the third step is you're going to be, it's going to be kind of a weird hold, but you got to make sure that they're doing one arm at a time and how I do it, because they are so small, you can hold them on their lower back and you can also grab their arm with your thumb just so that their arm doesn't move. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab their other wrist and you're gonna have them go up in the sky, in the water, and then touch their side. And then you're gonna switch, you're gonna grab the other side, the lower back, and then you're gonna hold their arm. Now, I mean, this isn't the most secure hold to hold their arms down, so if they really wanted to, they can get out of it. But just kind of, kind of, if they're doing that, just hold them with both hands, grab the other arm, bring it back, and tell them that they need to keep their arms to their side. You know, do do some compromises, like I uh, told you in the previous video. Now, once once they've understood that and they have their other arm to the side, you're gonna grab their other wrist. You're gonna go up in the sky, in the water, and then touch their side. Those are gonna be the beginning steps of how to teach someone from the ages of four to eight. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. I got a lot more of these videos coming out for you. I'm gonna go through all the ages.